the night skies on April 21st and 22nd are set to host the peak of the 2024 Lyrid Meteor Shower, an annual event that turns the sky into a celestial theater. This dazzling display, a fixture in the sky for over 2,600 years, offers not just a show of light streaking across the darkness, but a connection to the cosmos itself. In this video, we delve into the origins, optimal viewing strategies, and the scientific significance of this stellar phenomenon. We'll uncover the layers of wonder wrapped within this ancient meteor shower. So without further ado, let's get started. As the Earth journeys through space, it encounters various debris fields left behind by comets, leading to the awe-inspiring phenomenon we know as meteor showers. Among these, the Lyrid meteor shower stands out as a yearly event that peaks around April 21st. 22. This meteor shower is not just a nighttime entertainment, but a bridge connecting us to the ancient past of the cosmos. The progenitor of the Lyrids, Comet C1861 G1 Thatcher, was discovered in the 19th century, but the meteor shower itself has been observed for millennia. As Earth passes through the comet's debris, the bits of dust and rock burn up in our atmosphere at speeds up to 49 kilometers per second, creating the brilliant streaks across the night sky. The shower emanates from the constellation Lyra, giving it the name Lyrids. This radiant point near Vega, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, makes the shower especially picturesque. For those planning to watch this celestial event, the experience can be magical if the conditions are right. The absence of moonlight and artificial lights is crucial for the best viewing experience. This year, however, presents a challenge as the peak nights of April 21st. 22 will be bathed in the light of a nearly full moon. The brightness of the moon can significantly wash out the fainter meteors, making them harder to see. Despite these challenges, there are ways to optimize your meteor watching experience. Finding a dark spot away from city lights is crucial. Such locations are often found in national parks or rural areas where light pollution is minimal. Once there, allow your eyes at least 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness. This increases the sensitivity of the rods in your eyes, enhancing your ability to detect faint meteors. Additionally, facing eastward, where the radiant point rises, will provide the best view. The meteors can appear anywhere in the sky, but they will always originate from their radiant in Lyra, creating long streaks across the sky if you look slightly away from the radiant itself. This year's Lyrid meteor shower viewing is compounded by the near full moon on April 23rd. The moon's glow, beautiful though it may be, is a significant hindrance to those hoping to observe the fainter meteors. The moonlight scatters in the atmosphere and lights up the sky, reducing the contrast necessary to spot the quick flashes of the meteors. However, not all is lost for avid stargazers. The key to observing the Lyrids under such conditions is to time your viewing sessions strategically. The best time to watch the shower is after the moon has set and before dawn breaks. This tip provides the darkest possible sky in the presence of a bright moon. Monitoring moonrise and moonset times, which can be easily found on various astronomy apps and websites, will be crucial in planning your observation times. Also, understanding how to locate Lyra and its brightest star, Vega, can significantly improve your viewing experience of the Lyrid meteor shower. By knowing precisely where to look, you maximize your chances of spotting meteors. Utilizing a simple star map or one of the various smartphone apps available can greatly assist in this endeavor. Moreover, the conditions for viewing meteor showers underscore the broader issue of light pollution, a challenge not only for amateur astronomers, but also for ecological health. Cities around the world are increasingly aware of the impacts of excessive artificial lighting, leading to efforts to reduce light pollution. These efforts are not just about improving our view of the stars, they also aim to preserve wildlife habitats and reduce energy consumption. Engaging in or advocating for such initiatives in your community can lead to better viewing opportunities for everyone in the future. The Lyrids are an integral part of the annual meteor shower calendar. 
yet they are just one of the many such showers that grace our skies throughout the year. Each shower, be it the Perseids in August, the Leonids in November, or the Geminids in December, has its own unique features and origins. These variations provide astronomers and enthusiasts with insights into the workings of our solar system and the opportunity to witness the dynamic nature of our universe. The Perseids, for example, are one of the most prolific meteor showers and are derived from the comet Swift-Tuttle. They are known for their bright meteors and high visibility rate. In contrast, the Geminids originate from an asteroid, making them unusual since most meteor showers come from comets. This difference in progenitor bodies between showers like the Geminids and the Lyrids or Perseids underscores the diversity of celestial phenomena that meteor showers can offer. Furthermore, the study of meteor showers like the Lyrids contributes to our understanding of the broader dynamics of the solar system. Comets and their associated meteor showers tell us about the processes involved in the early solar system's formation and evolution. They also provide practical insights into the nature of cometary materials, which could have implications for future missions that might attempt to mine these bodies for resources. Meteor showers also remind us of the ever-present nature of space weather and its potential impact on Earth. While most meteoroids burn up in the atmosphere, larger impacts have occurred in the past and will happen again. Monitoring these celestial events is not just a matter of scientific curiosity, but also one of planetary defense. Thank you for joining me on this stellar journey through the Lyrid meteor shower. Remember, this isn't just about looking up, it's about discovering our connection to the universe and its ancient rhythms. So, mark your calendars, find a dark spot, and prepare to look up into the history written across our night sky. Whether you catch one meteor or 20, each flash across the cosmos is a reminder of the wonder above us. Let's keep our eyes on the skies and our minds open to learning more about this incredible universe we call home.